I got the whole world in my hand. I got the whole world in my hand. What's up, everybody? I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com. Can you see me in the reflection there? And uh, I've got the whole world in my hand, or at least the whole internet in my hand, because I have got the new Verizon MiFi 2200 Novatel Wireless USB modem, or Intelligent Mobile Hotspot, as they're calling it. Uh, this is brand new from Verizon. It comes out on May 17th, which is in a couple days. And this is basically a portable Wi-Fi hotspot that connects up to uh, Verizon's EVDO, or EVDO if you prefer, cellular network. And uh, basically what you do is you get this device, $99.99 on contract, uh, to your contract after rebate. Or uh, you can get it for $269.99, I believe, uh, without a contract. And then you get yourself a data plan, and that's going to run you either uh, $39.99 a month for 250 megabytes, or $59.99 a month for 5 gigabytes. And then uh, your overage charge is a little bit less on that more expensive plan. Or if you buy the device outright, you can connect for $15 a day for unlimited access. And uh, basically, you get yourself a data plan, you get this thing, and you set it up and it grabs the data off of Verizon's network and turns it into a Wi-Fi hotspot. You can connect up to five machines, laptops, smartphones, whatever, to this device, and there you go. It's your Wi-Fi on the go. And uh, so what's kind of cool about this is that not only um, can you share your connection with multiple devices as opposed to a regular cellular uh, data card modem, which is one device only, but also, you don't have to use the VZ, VZ Manager software or any kind of software on your computer every time you want to connect and disconnect. It just, you set it up once, you activate it once, and then you connect like a regular uh, Wi-Fi router. So, now, connection on this thing is supposed to be pretty easy. I actually could not activate the device the first time uh, using my Mac. I had to plug it into a Windows Vista machine, and then I was able to connect, activate it. Not quite sure why, uh, it just would not recognize the software supposed to auto load the software for the first connection. Uh, it's supposed to be OS X compatible. Wouldn't work for me. I was able to get it activated on a Vista machine. Now that it's activated, it's running just fine. And uh, let's take a look. The device comes with, I'll show you the box real quick actually before we do this. Here's the box. And the device comes with a USB cable. And it comes with a charger, USB based charger. And then also it comes with a, a little carry case. And so this thing is so small, super lightweight, really small. And uh, you know, you can just pack this thing up and uh, it's rated at four hours of Wi-Fi access for one device uh, on a full charge. So your battery life, it's got a removal battery in there, like a cell phone battery. And uh, so it's rated at, you know, you can use this for four hours of Wi-Fi if you only have one device connected to it. The more devices you have, the uh, faster, it'll run, faster it'll run down. But there you go, it's in its little carry case. You just throw this thing in your laptop bag and you're good to go. And uh, 60 bucks a month, if you're not, you know, for five gigabytes, uh, it'd be better if it was unlimited data, but you know how that goes. But you know, for, for the road warrior, if you're paying for a data card anyway, this thing will let you uh, share data if you happen to be somewhere where you have colleagues need to connect or what have you. Uh, so we'll get this fired up now and uh, we'll take a look. We'll see if we can get a little uh, speed test going. And so we'll see if we can watch a video here. We'll see if we can watch a uh, Samsung Alias video. And it's still loading, so a little bit slower, you know, obviously, than my home Wi Fi connection. So there you go, not too bad. Loading up just fine. You check that one out if you want. The Alias 2 just came out on Verizon with the crazy e-ink keyboard. If you watch that video, I apologize for the gross thumb injury. Uh, you'll, you'll know what I mean if you watch the video. So let's see if we can do a, uh, a speed test here.
And so it's interesting because even though I'm in the San Francisco area, since I'm connecting over the the Verizon network, it's telling me that, uh, you know, it's 2,000 miles away, which is kind of funny. So we'll do this one off the Toronto list, or the Toronto server, rather. And you can see my ISP is my Verizon. And test is in progress. Here we go. So again, this is connecting over the Verizon modem. You can see it's blinking, it's working. And uh, so I'm connecting from Wi-Fi to the modem, and then the modem's going over Verizon's EVDO network. So my download speed was 397 kilobytes per second. Upload 697, now oh, that's interesting. We'll do one more test here. We'll go over uh, Megapath here in San Francisco. Let's see what we get. It's a little bit faster here. Download speed, 557. Upload speed, 863. You know, I'm not enough of a... Uh, I'm not enough of a network guy to be able to interpret these results. But... Uh, you know, like I showed you, I was able to uh, watch a YouTube video. So what more do you need, right? <laughs> so there you go. It's the Verizon MiFi 2200. We'll have to take this one out and about, uh, test it against a, uh, a data card, you know, do some more stuff with this. But a very cool, very innovative kind of device. And, uh, you know, before too long, you should be able to see these things where the speed is good enough and the data restrictions versus the price is good enough that... You know, instead of having your fixed landline uh, cable modem, you'll be able to just rock that thing instead. Because uh, I'm going to switch right now to my cable modem connection. You can see I'm switching my, uh, my Wi-Fi connection up there. And I'm going to see what... Um, give it a second. I'm going to see what kind of speed I get on the cable modem. Because soon enough, you know, my latency is much better, my speed obviously much better. 18.3, so there you go. So, you know, these things good for World Warriors. I would think in a year or two with uh, LTE rolling out and all that stuff, you're going to be seeing, you know, no more fixed landlines. Instead, you just have this little thing. You take it where you want to use it. All right, so there you go. With a first look at the Verizon MiFi 2200. It's not cable modem fast, but it definitely is good enough. I watched a YouTube video. What more do you need? I'm Noah from Phonedog.com. Again, 100 bucks on a two-year contract. Uh, two data plans, $40 a month for 250 megabytes. $60 a month for 5 gigabytes monthly data. And your overage charge is either $0.10 cents or $0.05 cents per megabyte, depending on which plan you have. Much, much more on the Verizon MiFi 2200 and all the new Verizon stuff and all the new phones over on phonedog.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.